Hi, I'm Sheriff Gary Hoffman, and I want to talk to you about an extremely important topic. Recently, I have had many meetings with the local elected officials, as well as school board members and the community and parents about the safety of our children within our schools, both private and public schools here in Queen Anne's County. School safety in our community is our number one priority. And I can assure you, although I am not going to get into specifics on how our deputies are trained, our deputies, along with other allied law enforcement agencies, are trained to the newest trends and the newest techniques in addressing threats that could come to our schools. We have implemented additional patrols in and around our schools during this very difficult time for our community and our nation. I can assure you that we take every single threat within our community very seriously. Some people might say that we have a knee-jerk reaction to addressing children at 8 o'clock at night when a threat is brought to our attention. I can assure you that it is not a knee-jerk reaction. It's important to our community, to that child, and to that child's family that we address that promptly, quickly, and efficiently as well as we immediately relay the information we have to our schools. Our response in dealing with threats is swift and we take the appropriate action needed. We're not taking any chances here in Queen Anne's County with any type of threat. Parents, please do us a favor. Have patience when you're entering and going to your child's school. Let grandparents and family members know that they may be slightly inconvenienced by the lockdown procedures that the front of the schools have to ensure that all parents, all visitors are properly vetted through the school office. Parents, it's so important that you monitor your child's social media site. Please take the time to report anything you see on your child's site, even if it's from your child's friend. Do not wait for someone else to report that information. If you see something and you wonder about it, please report it. It's up to all of us to take the time to report anything we see that doesn't look like a normal post. Students, we understand what goes on in schools, and we understand that bullying could be a component of someone making threats. But it's important to understand that you have to let your parents know. You have to let educators know if you see something. It's the old adage, if you see something, say something. We have lots of work to do as a community and a nation to ensure that our schools are safe. But the one thing we can all do to help make this an accomplishable task is to report suspicious activity and report suspicious behavior. It's incumbent upon our community to contact law enforcement or educators to let them know if you see something that just doesn't look right. We would much rather have you tell us and us find out it's nothing than for you not to tell us and us find out it's something. I value your input and I know our county does as well. It's so important that if you have any thoughts, please feel free to email me at the link below. But the most important thing that I have is a text to tip line. You can actually take and send us an anonymous text at our text to stop it program. You can also contact me by calling our Sheriff's Office anonymous tips line at 410-758-6666. We do not have caller ID on there. We do not know who you are, but your tip or your information will be taken very seriously. If it's an emergency, please contact 911. It's important for all of us to do our part. Let's keep our kids safe. Let's keep our schools safe. And let's keep our community this wonderful place that it is.